So one way to make a shift cipher uh, a little more complicated and to fool frequency analysis is to uh, change the shift after each character. So this time we're going to use a basic Caesar shift cipher uh, with 3 as the initial substitution, which means A maps to D. But then we're going to shift the substitution one additional place after we encrypt each character. So in our initial encryption, we're going to encrypt straight down. So S is going to encrypt, so our original message is C me, so S is going to map to V. Now we're going to imagine this all being shifted one more place over, which means that each character, instead of mapping straight down, is going to map one place further over. So now E is going to map to I. And then we shift again, which means the next time we're going to shi uh, map I to, sorry, E, E is going to map to J. So now we're, we, we're one, two characters in, now we're going one more in, that means we're going to shift three spaces, so now instead of mapping directly down, one, two, three, M is going to map to S, uh, and then our last E here, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four. So that last, uh, E is going to get mapped, uh, to L. Okay, so notice the, the what's happened here is even though we had three E's in the original message, each of them has been mapped to a different character because we sh increased the amount of shift after each character.